Boeing has delivered the first of the GBU-57s to the United States Air Force. The bombs are called massive ordnance penetrators and are 37,000 pounds each. The huge bombs are designed to destroy underground enemy targets. At a total cost of about $314 million, the military has developed and ordered 20 of the weapons. They are designed to be dropped on targets by the Boeing made B-52 Stratofortress and the Northrop Grumman B-2 Stealth Bomber. The bombs are packed with more than 5,300 pounds of explosives and are more than 20 feet long. Boeing developed and built the huge bomb at its Phantom Works facility where the company works on top secret projects. Experts took note of the fact that the military disclosed delivery of the new bunker-busting bomb less than a week after a United Nations agency warned that Iran was secretly working to develop a nuclear weapon. Iran is known to have hidden nuclear complexes that are fortified with steel and concrete and buried under mountains. The Air Force and the Defense Threat Reduction Agency conducted tests at White Sands, and Boeing delivered the first massive ordnance penetrator this fall. Additional deliveries are expected to be completed by 2013. The GBU-57 will be the largest non-nuclear bomb in the United States Air Force. The U.S. Air Force has taken delivery of a new 30,000-pound bomb from Boeing that is capable of penetrating deeply buried enemy targets. The huge bunker buster, dubbed the Massive Ordnance Penetrator, MOP, is built to fit the B-2 stealth bomber. Air Force spokesman Lt. Col. Jack Miller said in a short statement that the Air Force Global Strike Command started receiving the bombs in September. He added that the deliveries, quote, will meet requirements for the current operational need. The bomb delivery report comes at a time when the international community is trying to increase its efforts to convince Iran to abandon its nuclear program, while reports on Israel's plans to carry out a strike against Iran's nuclear facilities are increasing. The efforts have gone into overdrive following the publication of the United Nations' International Atomic Energy Agency report last week, stating that Iran was trying to develop an atomic bomb to fit on a missile capable of hitting Israel. Iran has two underground nuclear weapons facilities that are known to the West, one underground near the city of Natanz and the other on a mountainside near the city of Qam.